welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to give you the top five things to do when visiting Trinidad as promised in my previous video. So you guys, this video was really, really hard because there are so many things to do in Trinidad. And while Trinidad is quite a very small island, the number of things to do is really ridiculous here. There are so many things that you can find to do in Trinidad and there was so many things that I could not even pick five. But you know what, I try my hardest only because I did not want the video to be too long and drawn out. So I compressed five things that I would consider to be my top five things to do when visiting Trinidad. And so you guys, let's go. You guys, and since the island is known for its beautiful beaches and scenery, I think that my number one thing to do would actually be to go to the beach, right? But not just any beach. My number one place to visit when coming to Trinidad would definitely be a visit to Maracas Beach. Yes, I said it, Maracas Beach. That is a beach located in the north coast of Trinidad and the beach is the most beautiful beach in the country. And I make no apologies for that, right? So when visiting Trinidad, Maracas Beach should be on top priority of your list of things to do. The beach is very beautiful, it's very lovely. If you are looking for a beach with a lot of vibe, a lot of food, a lot of drinks, a lot of activities then Maracas place is it to really visit. Maracas Beach is also known for its number one specialty in Beak and Shark. So if you're gonna have a Beak and Shark in Trinidad and you did not have it at Maracas Beach then you did not actually have a Beak and Shark. You must visit Maracas Beach to actually get a Beak and Shark from one of those huts that the, that's actually sells Beak and Shark day. So Beak and Shark is on the top priority of things to eat when you go to Maracas Beach. Apart from bacon shark at Maracas, you can actually get any one of the local beers and brews that are being sold in Trinidad at that beach. The beach is always full of music, laughter and happy people just all around the place. You are bound to get a lot of entertainment when visiting this beach. So that is why I said if you're looking for a beach with a lot of vibe and a lot of energy, Maracas Beach will definitely be the place that you need to be for that. Apart from all of that, the scenery on the north coast is typically very beautiful, so it's very good for pictures, especially on the lookout before the beach. Everyone usually stop there to get their pictures and to partake of the local items that are being sold on the lookout itself. So the scenery is very beautiful, and if you're into taking pictures and videos and things like that, then you definitely would be getting that at that location before you actually hit the actual beach. So pictures, scenery, check you guys when all of these elements are really combined it makes for a wonderful 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 trip and that would be to top things off on your first visit to Trinidad if you ever have to come here Maracas Beach is definitely it okay my loves moving along on my number two thing to do when visiting Trinidad it will definitely have to be Arapita Avenue so if you're into things like nightlife and you're into parties and you're into hanging out and you're into drinking and you're into having a good time and you're into trying different things to eat, then Arapita Avenue is definitely on my number two spot of things to do when visiting Trinidad. So Arapita Avenue is exactly what it is. It's an avenue located in Port of Spain of Trinidad and on that avenue there's a long list of places that you can actually go to eat to hang out to even gamble there are lots of clubs and bars on that avenue that you can attend if you are looking for a good party or a good liming spot there's a number of places that you can actually go to visit once you get to that avenue there are also a number of places that you can actually go to eat once you get on that avenue and things to eat on the avenue include things like doubles burgers gyros steak fries, you name it. There are so many different things to eat once you visit the avenue. So yeah, it's an all-in-one place once you go to hang out. Be sure to get food, a good lime, good bears, good booze. So Arapita Avenue definitely will have to be on my list of things to do once you visit Trinidad because of its nightlife and all of that. It's inclusive of persons who would like to do those types of things. And so that's why it's actually on my list of things to do once you visit Trinidad. So yeah, moving along. Moving along to number three. 
Guys, how can I ever talk about coming to Trinidad without talking about one of the greatest shows on earth called Carnival? How can I ever do that? Carnival is definitely my number three take on actually coming to Trinidad. Whenever you come to Trinidad, most persons usually come around Carnival time and I do not give them any wrong for doing that because Carnival is one of the greatest shows on earth that Trinidad ever presents on any given time of the year. Carnival displays so much of our tradition, so much of our culture, so much of who we are as a people. There are lots of traditional masks to see on Carnival and lots of fancy masks to see on Carnival. And when you partake of this festival, it's like the most thrilling experience you'll ever have. And anybody who that has ever played Carnival will tell you it's one of the greatest feelings that you get actually playing masks and wearing that costume, those beautiful costumes that we present on Carnival. To actually wear one of that, the feeling is it's just out of this world. The music, the food, the vibe around that time, it's nothing like you'll ever see in any part of the world. And everybody, I must recommend that you at least try Carnival at least once in your lifetime. Even if it's not something that you're into, just try it. You'll tell me different after you try it. Trust me, it's beautiful. Those costumes, those music, that soca music that we present every year around carnival time. Like I get so excited thinking about it because it's just... Unfortunately this year, well in 2021, we would not actually be able to have a carnival. And that is very sad in itself. But, you know, taking precautions with COVID-19 and everything, we have to understand that. But it's it would be like a great loss to us not even being able to have carnival at that time but not even thinking about that just thinking about all the past times that we've had and actually being able to experience the festival is just so 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 it's something that you can't even explain as a person you just can't explain it you have to experience it so i would suggest that i recommend that everyone do carnival at least once in their lifetime just put on a costume have some fun eat drink have a good time so that's definitely my number three take carnival in trinidad and tobago of course you guys my number four take on visiting trinidad on, on my number four place to go when visiting trinidad i will definitely suggest a road trip to davy for doubles doubles is like a cultural dish that is sold on the side of the streets in trinidad it's like our number one street food and if you come to Trinidad, you must try doubles. I know I would have spoke about doubles before on the avenue, but doubles in DB is something different. The taste of the doubles, just the feel of the doubles, is just different. You have to try the doubles in DB. And I would say that's my number four spot to visit once visiting Trinidad. I'm only there are so many places that actually sells doubles in Trinidad but I would recommend Davy because Davy has a long list of vendors that you can actually choose from when going to Davy. It's like a trip to the South Island of Trinidad so that's why I'm recommending that you go Davy for doubles but there are lots of other places that actually sell doubles in Trinidad that you would be so satisfied if you purchase doubles from them but I recommend Davy because Davy is like a road trip to go to Davy if you're coming from for the spin and environs to go to Davy is actually like a trip so you can take a road trip to the South Island and have some doubles down there and doubles is really really good down there as well too so number four there definitely has to be trying doubles in Davy moving along you guys and so on to my number five thing to do or my fifth thing to do when visiting Trinidad will definitely be if you're looking for something on the more lighter end that will actually involve kids, it will have to be a trip to the petting zoo in Chagaramas. Now, I've been to the petting zoo many times and every time you go there, it's very warm and welcoming. It's so great for kids that you will actually want to take your kids there to get a little interactive with the animals. You get to be up close and personal with some of the animals. They actually give you feed to feed some of the animals and I know that kids would love that. Also, some adults who are big kids would love it too as well. And um, to take pictures with the animals and everything and feed them is so great. And so if you're a parent and you're looking for something to do in Trinidad, then I would definitely suggest that you take your kids to the petting zoo in Chagaramas. And that's my number five or fifth thing to do when visiting Trinidad. The petting zoo in Chagaramas. Thank me later. 
Alright guys, so that's what usually sum up my five things to do when visiting Trinidad. And although this was hard to put into five things and because there's so many other things to do, I will be making other videos of a number of things that you can do while visiting Trinidad just to be inclusive of everything. Guys, so if you haven't done it already, give this video a thumbs up and you can look out for more videos from me with different things that you can do when visiting our lovely island of Trinidad. And also, if you wouldn't mind, please click that subscribe button to the bottom of your screen and subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys later on my other videos. So peace out for now. See you guys later.